Hi, Andrew here. Continuing our series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, we're going to do another short barrel 9mm test. Today we're going to take a look at ASIM 9mm 115 grain plus P TAC XP. As you'll recall, short barrel 9mm is a bit of a tough egg to crack in that it's not a lot of velocity, not a lot of mass, and it's difficult to get a bullet to expand reliably and penetrate adequately in both bear gel and heavy clothing. We've seen that in a few other calibers and short barrel doesn't make it any easier. But <laughs> solid copper bullets tend to do really well and Barnes makes a damn good bullet. So let's get out to the range, shoot this ASIM TAC XP through my Smith & Wesson or my wife's Smith & Wesson shield. Okay, so of course it's good performance in the bare gel, nothing surprising there. The neck is a little under an inch on both shots. Total penetration 15.7 and 14.6. Looks like good expansion, relatively uniform penetration. Pretty decent. Let's see how it does against heavy clothing. Okay, par for the course. As usual, there's no surprises in the bare gel. Of course it performed well. Big expansion, good penetration, and of course being a solid copper bullet, 100% perfect retained weight. But as always, the deciding factor is going to be the heavy clothing. So let's get back out to the range and fire the same load through four layers of denim to simulate heavy clothing. All right, so we see this a fair amount with these solid copper bullets. Barnes makes an outstanding bullet. The TAC XP is incredible even at relatively low velocities from a 9mm short barrel, we're still seeing very consistent penetration and expansion. The lowest to the highest is 13.7 inches and 15.6 inches. So only a couple of inches of difference in penetration. Still have immediate expansion with the neck approximately oh, half an inch long. See it dumping some denim along the track. Nice big expansion, adequate penetration. Everything is just about perfect. It doesn't get much better than this, especially for a short barrel 9mm. All right, well, there it is. That is absolutely perfect textbook performance, front to back, top to bottom, bare gel, heavy clothing, absolutely perfect. Um, is it possible that it falls short through other barriers or in other conditions? Absolutely, but at least within the confines of this test, this is 100% perfect textbook performance. And very consistent in the depth of penetration. And on top of that, you get some nice sharp edges to that expanded hollow point. Now, I know out there that there may, there's some debate about how important sharp edges to a hollow point are. I don't have my own mind made up, but 
all other factors being equal and having good performance and everything else and also having nice sharp edges to cut the crap out of things can't hurt. Will we find other loads that do better than this? Yeah, sure, possibly, maybe. But in, in terms of textbook um, by the numbers performance, there's nothing to be desired here. Another load could have wider expansion, but it's not going to have more than 100% retained weight. And the penetration is absolutely ideal. I know I'm going on a bit, but it's not often that you find a load in 9mm that do, does well out of a short barrel. And to find one that does perfectly out of a short barrel is a rare gem. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below. If you would like to suggest something that you'd like to see us test in the future, first, head over to our sponsor's website, Ventura Munitions, take a look at what they have in stock, and then from what Ventura has in stock, come back here and let me know what you want to see me test next. And of course, while you're there, it wouldn't hurt to purchase some ammunition from them because supporting those sponsors supports us. They're the ones that make these videos possible. They give us the ammunition that we use in these tests, and without them, we couldn't do these videos. If you like watching content like this, support the sponsors, like, share, and subscribe, because that tells YouTube what you like to see. And if you want to see more content like this, you need to engage with it so that YouTube gives you more content like this. As always, have a great day.